Hey everybody, it's Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to show you another cool application to really tweak your Mac to however you like it. And this application is called Tinker Tool, and it's a completely free application available from the description. And with this application, you have tons and tons of options that'll really go into your system and edit all the files that would be required to edit to really you know, make a difference in your operating system. So I'm just going to go through a bunch of these options here and I'm going to try not to go through too many only because of, you know, YouTube and its 10 minute time limit. So basically we start out with Finder up here. So we have show hidden files, which are like the .ds underscore store files, which just um, control, you know, memorizing where each file is and you know how they're positioned on the desktop and in other folders. We have disable sound effects like when you drop something into the trash. Disable desktop features which is really cool. What that actually does is it completely removes your desktop. Then we have add quit item to finder menu which I have on right now. So if I'm in Finder, I can actually quit the Finder, which you can't normally do. Uh, I'm just going to go right on to the bottom here, and we have List View and Icon View. So in Icon View, you'll notice that if it's a long folder, it will the name of the file will go on to the next line. And you can override that so it'll only stay on one line. Then we have list view, use striped background, which you'll notice that if you bring up a window here, the backgrounds are alternating, which really help you see which ones you're selecting. And when you've made all these changes, be sure to hit relaunch finder just so that they actually take place. Now I'm just going to move on to dock here. And we have use transparent icons for hidden applications. And that's a really cool effect. So if I go down here, you'll notice that mail and Safari are hidden, which if you do not know, you can just hit Command H to hide an application. And when it's hidden now, it has 50% opacity. So it just really allows you to see what's hidden and what's not. Then we have Disable 3-Dimensional Glass Effect, which we all know just makes the dock 2D. Spring-loaded file, spring-loaded tiles, which are just like if you drag um, this folder into an application, it'll open and then you can drag it somewhere, which I'm, sh you know, I'm sure you don't really completely understand how I'm saying that, so you may have to experiment just to see. Restricted dock, that's just to disallow changes. And stacks, I like this one here, highlight selection when using grid view, which means when you roll over something, that nice little gradient tile background comes up. And then add stack for recent items. Just gives you a stack of everything you've used recently. So here they are. And then we have just placement, minimizer effect. And I'm just going to move on to general here. And we have some things that um, at the top here, mostly you can configure through system preps except for together at start position. And also together at both ends. So then we have screenshot format. So when you take a screenshot, it's normally in PNG for Leopard, or if you're running Tiger, it is TIFF, I believe. And Snow Leopard is PNG as well. And you can turn off the shadow or even change it. And you can change where your screenshots will go, which is, you know, maybe I, if I really need something, you could always, you know, go into your HD and add a folder called screenshots. Then put this 
right down there as a stack and then change it to screenshots perfect alrighty so now sheets is just you know some things that happen when you save or print stuff and down here near the dashboard we can deactivate the dashboard which will not let you use it which I can't show you right now because you have to log in again in order for these changes to take place and you can enable dashboard developer mode which means you could take this little thing here this little widget and drag it onto the desktop which is really nice under applications we have enabled diagnostic menu for address book auto activate windows by mouse cursor so it really just helps navigate to different windows when you roll over them and disk images applications crash like I said I'm just you know showing you a couple of stuff here uh, this one's really nice optical disk drives and you can add a section in there and a jet button which is really cool it does take a while to update though under leopard we have for spotlight disable the calculator or the dictionary for the help viewer we have don't keep it in the foreground which I actually made a video tutorial video tutorial about how when you have this help window up normally it stays in front and won't let you put anything in front of it but there's a terminal code that will let you use it as a normal window but luckily this little app can do it for you um, let's see here then we have some stuff for iTunes we could show the genre of music when you're browsing through the the um, library and you can show these little links to the iTunes store which means if you see Coldplay and you click that little link it'll show you everything in the iTunes store by Coldplay so I'm gonna move on to fonts now and this is just you know what you want all fonts to be so you can change whatever you like and maybe even put a custom font if you have made your own or you like something else and you can even mess around with someone else's system by using web dings or something font smoothing is just you know you'll notice that <clears throat> if you see a font that's eight points and smaller it does it's not as smooth it's more jagged so you can change that and configure it login items are just what opens automatically when you log in which you can do through the system prefs Safari we have show develop menu and menu bar which you can even develop I mean edit websites through that which is really nice but you can set that in Safari preferences and you can change history storage how much in the menu and time after when they expire and what's going on here there we go and there we go and if something is changed wrong you put something wrong you want to put it back you can reset all the settings to before you use this application or to the defaults of the operating system so just like that you don't have to worry about messing something up because there is always a backup. Now go to the link in the description if you'd like to download this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe. Thanks a lot everybody.